So what's going on everybody? Everybody's out there asking, you know, when are we going to get back to normal? Everybody wants the normal back, you know, me included, you want to get back to normal. We want to be able to do stuff, you know, we're all sick and tired of being cooped up and, you know, in our homes and staying home and, you know, you can't go here, you can't go there, you know, you're only limited to what you can do and everything else and for God's sakes, you know, all of a sudden now we're teachers, you know. You gotta be a teacher, you gotta teach your kids, you gotta take the time, you gotta learn how to teach your kids because you're not a teacher, right? I mean, come on people, you know, I mean, it takes time to get into the rhythm of things of, you know, what your kids are doing and I'm sure the older the kids, the harder it is, you know, it makes you wanna have a drink at night, you know, I mean, but you, then again, you know, you, you, you gotta do it. There's nobody else to do it because we can't go anywhere. We're stuck at home, you know? Now you're stuck, you know, you're, you're doing all the cooking. You gotta cook the breakfast, you gotta cook lunch, you gotta cook dinner, you know, you're, you're just like, you know, you're chicken with his head cut off and you're just running around and running around and running around and you don't know which way to go first, you know? You just wanna be normal. You just wanna be normal. You know, it's getting to the point where you serve dinner and it's a piece of toast. Because you're just tired of it. You know, you wanna be able to go out uh, go places and do things. You want to, you, all you women, well, men too. I mean, this goes for everybody nowadays, you know. I mean, you want to go out and get a haircut. Well, unless you're like me, then you don't have to worry about it. <clears throat> but for the other 95%, you want to get a haircut. You want to go and sit down in the barber chair. You want to go to the beautician and you want to have somebody wash your hair and cut it and blow dry it and style it and their whole nine yards and you want to be done with it. And then when you're done there, you want to walk across the street, you want to go into the bar. You want to go in the bar and sit down and you want to have a nice drink with people around you that you may even like. But just to sit there and have a cold beer or a martini. You know, I mean, that's just what it is. You know, you want to go to your favorite places. You want to go out to eat, you know? Or you want to be able to stop on the way home from work and just grab that rotisserie chicken. You know, you want to fit your, your favorite coffee shops. You know, we're all dying to get back out there and get back to normal. You know, and just go sit at your coffee shop and just watch people go by. Sip your coffee. Not a care in the world. But that's not what we do now. You know, we all want to get out. We want to go to the stores. You know, we want to go shop. You want to walk around the mall. Hell, you want to hit the flea markets. Go to the flea markets. Catch out all those things. You might find a really good deal at the flea market. You know, you just you want to get out. You know? I think at this point, everybody's just ready to get back to the hustle and bustle of everyday life. You know? Okay, you got to deal with the traffic going to work and the idiot in the left lane because he's going too damn slow and you're running late. Boom, boom, come on. You know, you're on the horn. You're beeping, flipping them off, you know? You, you just you just want to get back to normal. You know, you got all the crowds of people and everything else, and you're just, you know, fighting to find some place to park, and, you know, you just, in a sense, you just want it to be normal. What we're used to living in. You know? And, in the very end, really all you really want is just to get away from it all. You want to hop on that plane? You want to sit back without having a mask on, without worrying about touching somebody off to you, you know, one side or the other side, or is that seat empty, or, you know, you get an invisible friend sitting here, you know, just stay away, you know, you want to be able to have that drink on the plane, fly, just get away, head up to the mountains, take in the views, head to an island, watch the waves roll in. But then again, what are we gonna do with the new normal? How's the new normal gonna work? We have all these states that are opening back up really quick. They're not following the guidelines that have been put forth by the president. And they're just rushing to reopen everything because everything is about money. 
Everybody wants the normalcy back. And you can't blame a lot of people because they're out of work, they're not getting paid. But what is the new normal? What's it going to cost us? How many lives are we going to lose? We just don't know. We don't know what the new normal is going to be. I just hope we don't rush and do it too fast. And I hope that we have a plan in place and the government follows it. So we don't lose any more people unnecessarily. So. So what is the new normal? We still don't know. But hopefully at some point. The new normal. will come in and we'll be able to do all the things we just talked about. We'll be able to go out to the restaurants, we'll be able to get our hair done and go to the bar and have a drink. Or just hop on that plane and just fly away and don't even worry about anything. We don't know. But normally, at one point or another, hopefully we'll come back and everybody will get back into the same routine. But let's just hope that Everybody has learned something from this routine. Every instance is a learning instance. So until next time, survival prayer, that's for beginning. Catch you on the flip side.